folks, this is all the fruit and the, the tropics, bananas, I don't see this in the same way as we see them. Well, as you can see, we are here in the wet tropics, in the rainforest. In the tropics, most bananas actually not being eaten fresh as a fruit. Look at this Malayu River here in, here near Kuching in Sarawak. They have a whole bunch of these like kapok. And now they are going to do what <coughs> people here do with both. <coughs> oh my god, bananas, they're going to make pizza goreng. Yeah, I came here right in time. This little roadside stall basically saved me from getting completely soaking wet. So let's see how they do it. First they put it in some sort of sauce and then they throw it into the oil. Yeah, that's how most of the bananas here in Southeast Asia end up. No better the country. Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. That's what they're gonna do with most of them. That's one reason they need so much palm oil. <laughs> when I first came to Malaysia, the people told me, we fry everything, especially fruits and especially bananas. So the pizza kapok, it's made, tested is being fried. Then it's being peeled and cut in half, so that's the finished product. And that's the climate that's perfect for bananas. Bananas need constant heat and constant humidity, maybe more than any other crop. And even in a lot of areas, in, for example in the Caribbean, or even here in Southeast Asia, there are areas which actually get too dry, too cool, and not perfect for them. But here in Borneo, the equatorial rainforest climate, yeah, bananas grow like crazy. Bordeaux is also the center, the worldwide center of distribution of wild bananas, and it might be one of the centers of uh, banana cultivars. So it seems the bananas stayed here quite long. Pity I cannot ask her what she exactly puts in this, uh, in, in this uh, dough or in this, uh, in, in this floor to. Uh, to barbecue them in, but I'm sure that they are gonna be incredibly tasty. But now I sit down and wait for my portion of tasty pizza goreng kapok. Hmm, strange, the frying time for the banana seems to be very different. There was one batch here which took like almost 15 minutes, and then those for me, they are ready like less than five minutes. Maybe the last guy wanted his bananas very well done. Hot and sweet of course, but still fruity. Bananas usually get incredibly sweet when they are fried, sometimes too sweet, but not those. Those, of course, the sweetness is dominant, but there is also some sourness and a lot of fruitiness. Cannot even taste the cover very well. I will snake one of the cold ones just to compare it. Yeah, the cold ones, cold ones have an interesting, a bit different and stronger flavor. But I can also taste the oil very well. Well, folks, I'm gonna enjoy my pizza and kapok goreng. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from Bor from Neo, the most fruit rich island in the world. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.